does Veterans Day mean to you and your family? Um, Veterans Day for myself and for my family um, revolves around my husband, Mr. Darbison, who served in the Army. Um, he has just set a very good example for our children. We have two daughters and a son, um, and being a veteran has also provided him with a very good education and the home we live in now, and our family couldn't be any prouder of um, my husband and what he's done for our country. Right, Veterans Day originally started out as Armistice Day. Armistice Day was meant to honor the veterans from World War I. That had been such a horrible war that they wanted to honor those troops. World War I ended in interesting fashion. They didn't just want to end it on any day, so they ended it on the 11th day of November at 11 a.m. So in other words, it ended on the 11th day of the 11th month in the 11th hour. That's when the war ended. Okay. Later on, I think it's in the 1950s with President Eisenhower, they decided to change Armistice Day to Veterans Day to honor all veterans, but you can still see its connections to World War I because Veterans Day, no matter what day it is, it's always going to be on November 11th. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill proclaiming November 11th as Veterans Day and called upon Americans everywhere to rededicate themselves to the cause of peace. What do you do on Veterans Day? On Veterans Day, uh, we try to get together as a family and we have a special dinner or um, an outing or uh, you know special dessert for dinner um, in honor to honor my husband, Fidel Partida Jr. And uh, we take uh, great pride in him and uh, we are very proud to be his family. Um, he is uh, a man that we, as a family, feel is uh, deserves respect, um, honor, and uh, he has um, instilled in our children those attributes of, um, of having honor and pride and uh, carries, carries himself and carries the family wherever they go. He feels that you should always uh, be fair. And our children, I now see, in place that in their lives as well. They have um, respect, they are very respectful. And that is something that my husband is just values his, his respect. So we, we are very proud of him and we we thank him and thank God that when he was serving that he was able to come home because unfortunately that is not the case for many service members and their families. So we are, um, we are very blessed. Yeah.